it going, my true people? Dr. Slacking the Slacking Doctor back on Pokemon Showdown for something that we have never done before. I am doing a post com over a battle that was not my own. And you may be thinking, why? Why are you doing this? Uh, this is probably going to be the first video I post after I get back from holiday as well. So I'm just going to quickly say I'm sorry for the lack of uploads recently. Uh, Strumpful and Isaac came to stay for a little bit. Then I went on holiday with my family. I wasn't able to get content pre-prepared and uploaded, scheduled, ready to go. Everything is on a desktop computer, so I couldn't do that. Moving on, why am I doing this? Why am I uploading this video with what probably has a ridiculous thumbnail and ridiculous title? I don't even know why I'm calling this yet. My man Nico, aka Pokemon Trainer Hakeem. He's been on the channel countless times. You guys all know him by now. He's the co-commissioner of the ABC. He, uh, he played Socrates this week. Socrates was the runner-up in the ABC, another good friend of mine, super cool guy. This video is, by the way, meant in no disrespect to him at all. In fact, part of the reason it involves him is why I'm making this video. This week in the LTC, the league that I'm in, the low tier championships run by Foss, Nico played uh, Socrates, and we basically have a pickums in the league where we get to pick who we think is going to win each week. And I backed Socrates to beat Nico. Well, Nico, I am sorry. I am sorry that I betrayed you, that I picked someone over you. I mean, it is Socrates. He is a terrifying, terrifying battler and another friend, but. I'm sorry for ever doubting you. We are making this video, guys, by way of an apology to Nico and to watch what I think is the greatest battle of all time. Almost undoubtedly. I don't know how any battle could be better. So, I don't really know what happens other than, well, I know what happens, but I don't remember the turn by turn. I can't give you feedback on what he does. But you guys need to appreciate, A, why Nico is the king, and B, something else which you will discover very, very shortly. So, let's get straight into this. We see that uh, Socrates leads off with Confei, Nico leads off with Electabuzz, seems like a pretty standard Volt Switch lead from Nico, but he actually just goes, fires off the Toxic, start wearing down this Confei, it's taking the Draining Kisses with Electabuzz for about 20%, nothing too bad. Volt Switch is out for 24%, wearing it down with the Toxic seems good, I was expecting maybe uh, an Aromatherapy with whatever brilliancy it is that Confei, Confei has, uh, but Nico actually just starts setting up Spikes with Roselia. That's pretty nice. It drops to a Z Draco Meteor, I'm going to assume from this Dragouge. And uh, he goes out into Hornzo, goes for the Psychic. We're actually going to slow this down slightly. Gets 50% onto the Dragouge, but crucially drops his special attack by two, and Hornzo goes down. Now he goes out into Masquerain. And at this point, Dragouge is at, my, I think it's minus two, right? Yeah, minus two special attack. Am I getting that wrong? Did it drop by two stages? I think it's minus two special attack. A minus one attack. So this Dragalgy does not have a lot of great damage output at this point. It's pretty weak. It's not doing great. And he goes out into Masquerade, aka the Messiah. If you guys don't know about Masquerade on the channel, then you probably haven't seen any videos that I've done with Nico. Definitely go and check those out. Uh, just scroll through my videos and it's anything with the Masquerade in the thumbnail, essentially, is anything that involves Nico. He brings out the Messiah. And if you guys watch Zed you, you know what happens now. This, this man, Socrates has six Pokemon left, but Nico does not care. He goes straight for the Quiver Dance. Sock thinks he's safe to set Toxic Spikes. Big mistake. Nico gets his second Quiver Dance up. It's looking pretty scary at this point. We see a Sludge Wave to 16% from this Dragalgy. I know it's got the drops, and I know this thing's at plus two per death, but it eats that. He goes out into the more wild, thinking he can probably wall the set. It takes the Ice Beam on the switch in for 38%. So we can't KO with an Ice Beam, it depends what his last move is here. But he actually is carrying the Hydro and he lands a Hydro Pump because Masquerade never misses. The Messiah never misses. He goes out into Scyther. At this point he fires off the Z Ice Beam, the Sub-Zero Slammer. The regular Ice Beam did not guarantee the Oko. In fact, I don't think it had a chance to Oko. I think it was guaranteed to hit KO. But he has the Z move for the Scyther. He blows that back. Confei comes in. He lands the Hydro Pump. It's the Messiah, what do you expect? The Confei goes down. Brings in the Frogadier, and here, here, Nico misclicks and clicks Quiver Dance again. Chokes the game. Chokes the game. Ice Beam comes out, and I can't believe this actually happens, but he gets the freeze. It's over. It's over. The Masquerade Sweep is over. No! This is the Messiah. It thaws out. Turn one. Fires up a Bug Buzz. Takes out the Frogadier. Doesn't even matter if Nico misclicks. The Messiah is just too strong. Too strong. Dragalgy comes out, no chance from this Ice Beam. Gonna drop, of course. Last mo last Pokemon, the Duosion. Can I take a Bug Buzz? It's got an Aviolite. It's kind of bulky. It probably has an Aviolite anyway. It also drops the Bug Buzz, of course. 6-0 to the Messiah. I mean, it wasn't, obviously it wasn't 6-0 because he lost two Pokemon. But you know what I mean. He sweeps six Pokemon with Masquerade against one of the best battlers I know. And as I say, this video is meant in no way to mock Socrates at all. It's just meant to say to Nico. I'm sorry. 
I am sorry for ever putting my faith in any team that does not have Masquerade in it, because clearly this Pokemon is bro broken. And Foss, I know we have already discussed the tiers for Season 2, but I think Masquerade should be banned. I think it's OP, it's too strong, it tore apart ZU, now it's tearing apart the LTC, it's too good. We have to ban it, it's the only thing we can do. It's the only way to go. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this ridiculous video. I will be back with Black probably today or tomorrow, depending on when you see this, probably tomorrow. Uh, and then I will have so many battles which I'm just going to throw at you guys as quickly as I can for a PBA, ABC, LTC, everything. So you're going to have a lot of content coming your way. Hope you guys are hyped for that. Thank you so much for loafing around with me and Nico and the Messiah. And I'll catch you again next time.